hi everybody welcome back to our youtube channel my name is mahabu i am so excited to be doing this um anyways so as you've seen by the title of the video i'll be doing a q and a um of some of the questions that i got from the video that i posted um residence tour luna when i posted that video it was just the thing of you know keeping the channel alive i didn't think it was gonna do good or do well like it did so i'm grateful that people actually got to experience that side of uct so tabi let ask a questions a question and ore can you please film a q a please film a q a video explaining how to apply for the res what course are you studying how long it took for a response and your funding so how apply for res now? my older sister matavela she studies she used to study at uct so basically she's the one who did the application form process on my behalf um Higia first year ne? um but i'm just gonna explain how uh, i applied for residence because i think it is similar the application process uh application process setting even for postgrad how apply on the uct portal you fill in your information blah 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 what you want to study your name what, 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 what. and then i think line number nine or what what team they ask do you want rest you have to take yes or no and then that's it it's different in the sense that other universities um require you to uh name the residence that you wish to stay in but uct uses a random selection type of algorithm yeah <laughs> random selection um process for assigning students to different residences so what has happened is that what will happen when you apply firstly your residence will depend on what you're studying so if you're studying um, something in health sciences it's going to be a different type of accommodation that they're going to assign you and if you're doing with science engineering humanities and everything then there's a different um, accommodation for that and also even in postgraduate there's a different residence for that so uh, example ne? if you're doing if you apply to be occupational therapy or medicine or physiotherapy then we have a campus named baby med school so we have about five campuses um that i know let me not say that are they that i know number one it's med school number two it's lower campus middle campus um upper campus and heating campus right so med school they have their own residence um there's a lot of residences that side not a lot i know three me to my knowledge guys don't come and be like ah it's not the only one no i know i only know three um there's clearness for health science but clearness accommodates everyone but it's just that it's on that side of campus med school side of it there's ops there's med school campus somewhere there inside and there's another one I think it's Rochester. It's on that side. So on the four that I've named, name Clarinus, it's a mixture of all students, just that it's on that side of the campus. Rochester, the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, I think Rochester caters even for first year students. And then OBS, it's for second tier students. Second tier students, uh, people who are doing their third year and postgrad upwards, if I'm not mistaken and what's the other one the med school one i've never been there but it's there so i'm not sure what it caters for specifically but it's on the med school campus side of campus yeah nana campus side of camp whatever show me i can't understand yeah then we go to the lower to lower campus lower campus that's where Giddy vibes for the first year students, but it's not only for first year students, but it's mostly first year students, second year students, name. Uh, and there's a it's a campus study residences. It's only accommodation there. Um, so we have Grasha Michelle, we have Copano, we have 
Lu I forgot. Leo Marquardt, Baxter, Tugwell, and other ones there. Somewhere in G there. I, like, I can't remember all of them. And I used to stay at Grasha Michelle. So in first year, I stayed at Grasha Michelle. In second year, I also stayed in Grasha Michelle. So in first year, I was sharing. It's compulsory. And then in second year, you don't share. Same, um, same rest, but you don't share because now well, i'll see you know and there's a lot of dh dining halls every if i could say every res has a dh so don't even stress about it if you want catering then we move to middle campus middle campus um there's school of law faculty of law ma'am and there's also school of economics if i'm not mistaken and there's only one residence at that side it's Wusek. Um, that one caters for second tier residences. Second tier, remember, people in third year, post-grad, post-grad honors. Post-grad is your honors, your master's, and your PhD. Yeah. Then we go to upper campus. Ne? Upper campus, um, I'll just insert a picture here just to show you how upper campus looks. That's the one. If you see pictures of... A UCT that's upper campus so in at upper campus right at the middle of that a uh, that that building with pillars ne? from right in the middle going to your right that's faculty of science and half going to your left that's engineering very nice building uh, that's humanities and that's commas right yeah and then on upper campus we have two residences there's fuller and there's another smarts i think it's smarts if i'm not mistaken so you see blood and water ne? guys I, I never told anyone but yeah you see blood and water blood and water is actually short the school wara wara thing it's actually a, a uct residence right it's if i'm not mistaken it's smart so it's a residence at UCT, at, I mean at Upper Campus. And don't think people who stay there are special. No, there's nothing special about them. So that they are multiple children or a, a people with high marks, no. It's a random selection essentially. So anybody can stay at SMART depending on where they place you. So it doesn't depend on your marks, it doesn't depend on your color of your skin, wara wara, no, it doesn't. So it's what it's very nice. It, outside, it's very nice. Okay, I, I want to chat, you know, because the thing is, UCT is very old. So I can imagine the buildings. They have that vintage type of vibe. If when you like modern things, like and now you'd feel like it's it's not as good as they should. But yeah, that's what it is. But they're very nice. They're, they're very nice. Uh, full and smart are very nice. So when I got there, I felt like, what type of students stay here? I think that's special. But I realized, like, no, shim, they're not special. Unless if they're special, I don't know. I understand. Let me not judge. So that is, yeah. And then hitting, hitting, it's there by Long Street. If you had people talking about Long Street, it's okay. Let me just say it in a nicer way. It's close to. VNA, ne? VNA waterfront. It's close, very nice. Like you can even Uber from Heating Campus to Camp Space, like 20 Rand. So it's not far. It's another campus. I think it caters for drama students, if I'm not mistaken, music, arts, and stuff like that. I've I've only been there catching a Jamie. A Jamie is a bus a, that takes you from one point to another. It's a journey. I don't know what other people call it, but it's a bus. So yeah, I hope I've answered that question. Now you have an idea of the different residences at UCT. Number two, what, are you, what course are you studying? So I studied a BSc in computer science and business computing in brackets, information systems. Nah, nah. In Asia. What else can I tell you about my course? nothing except for that it showed me and yeah it showed me flames so 
I can't justify anything about that. How long it took for a response? Usually they respond because of COVID, the times have changed, but they usually respond like, um, between August and October day, right? Yeah. So for that residence, let me explain before I go anywhere. That residence that you see, I mean, that you see on the video name, yeah? that residence is my third year residence. On the video, I mentioned that UCT leased, leased that building for like five years, if I'm not mistaken. These are not facts. These are things that I heard from people. But UCT leased that building. It's a very off-campus um, accommodation. Um, but it caters only for UCT students. I'm not sure about now. Um, so I was placed there. How I placed there, guys, it's a story. Let me tell you. What had happened is that on my s oh another thing is that when you move from one first year second year third year that thing automatically reassigns you to different residences you don't even have to apply it just does it automatically unless if um to begin with you didn't have like a UCT residence then you can apply for it but if alternate na at first year you are assigned a residence it automatically reassigns you to second year and then third year so for my third year i was assigned what's that residence let me find it a to z okay let's just what's that raise man i know liz liz b <laughs> hey they assigned me to Lisbeck. I wanted to go to Ob Square. They assigned me to Lisbeck. What happened is that they sent me an email. I was supposed to accept the offer of Lisbeck Gardens. And I said, nope. So I let the offer stay as it was staying there by the emails. I didn't accept it. And then the offer expired. Ah, the offer expired. I was at home, right? So it was kind of justifiable why I couldn't accept the offer. But I knew I don't want that residence because people don't want it. I don't know why they don't want it. So I let the, uh, the, the offer expire. Next thing, when I went back to Cape Town, um, I went to student housing. I told them, yo, I forgot to accept the offer. That lady just looked at me like, well, now I have you my girl are crazy so my girl was like there's nothing can do there's no space for you i was like yo zakal so i think two months went by and i couldn't like i didn't have residence guys and imagine homeless job work didn't have residence for third year i mean I went to student wellness and I told the person who I was in okay, my mind wasn't okay. Yo, I was depressed. Yo, yo. Then they wrote me a letter and then I took it to student wellness that I wasn't even at home at the time of the thingy. I explained the thing and then she was like, I'll put you on the waiting list. And then she placed me on a waiting list. And then a few weeks, I like two weeks or something, that's when I got the offer to Rose Common. The name of the residence is actually Rose Common. So that's how I got it. When I got there, I was like, yo, oh, but I wanted OBS. But once I got there, I was like, yo, this place is nice. It's a bachelor pad. I don't have to I don't have to share anything with anyone. Um yeah, it, it is a it's very modern, so it's very nice. Yibo. So tell me is also ask my, my funding. So when I went to UCT, I didn't have funding, guys. This thing we're calling it Tatama Chance, Tatama Millions. I didn't have residents. I mean, I didn't have funding mainly because I didn't know there were fundings for computer science, which is what I wanted to study. My second option was mechanical engineering. So I applied for a lot of buzzers for mechanical engineering. And if you watch one of the videos, I explained how I ended up doing computer science. I didn't have funding, luckily. One of my sister Manare applied for NSFAS on my behalf, then I used NSFAS. January, the thing about it is that the teachers and the people and the what what they're like, ah, you don't have to hey, apply for bursaries, they'll come looking for you in January. Guy, show me, show me, guy. 
where on this planet are they looking for you so now i recommend you apply for bazaarists don't listen to people who are telling you that you know they'll come yes let them come while i'm ready and then i applied for uh ekuruleni mea bursary and then hi bo guys when when people were getting offers from the mayor this uh bursary and i didn't have a phone so i don't know if i got the offer or not because they were not sending the offers via email so i tried to email them i tried to call them no response you know government things and tinji playing with our feelings so i stayed using nsfas and to be honest nsfas at uct during my period well how i experienced it wasn't bad wasn't bad at all it was luxury money on time they paid my fees on time bougie stuff they gave me a laptop i didn't have a laptop they gave it to me what else it was just convenient to be honest so and as far as for me at uct let me not even try to justify and as far as for other people but for me at uct was absolutely amazing it wasn't bad i had a good experience with nsfas and then second year they give you 5000 for books 2000 monthly allowance ah guys i'm telling you bowling but in my first year because of i was in catering they gave me 250 rand because my dh was literally at my rest so i didn't have to walk or i have to what what no number 2 it was breakfast lunch dinner so i didn't the 250 was just for toilets toiletries and yeah necessity necessities essentially but yeah i had a good very like i had a good experience with nsfas and then later in march ecolent decides to send me an email asking me mugel where is your tuition what what statement and everything i was like oh actually khantelina lintile then they're like yes so i sent them my tuition i sent them everything tuition statement is that what they call it i don't know true yeah something along those lines and then yeah and then both of them paid and as far as paid for my fees agreeing it's illegal by the way don't do this agreeing paid for my fees so you understand what the confusion was agreeing they don't give you allowance they only give you They, they don't give you money they can pay for everything as long as it goes straight to the third party not to your hands so they paid for food they paid for residence my residence at the time was first year was like 46000 and then in second year was like 56000 that residence that you see there by that video it's very expensive it was 78000 it was very expensive so I'll explain how I was, I was able to pay for it. So first year both Ecrelen and NSFAS paid. Um it was a half half situation. So one pays for my tuition, my tuition were like I don't know why, but in total it was like 150,000 rands. Yeah, my fees in first year. Fees food accommodation 150,000 right yeah kar ki bua mak i think i'm like i'll just put it somewhere for facts eh uh, things factual events wara wara and then second year yeah i was still using and as far as in kurleni and then on career service um on uct there was an ad- advertisement of investec scholarship I applied for it and Yeah, I got the bursary. How I got the bursary, let me explain. Chad, they I again get that is a form and then I sent it through. The guy called me for first round of interview. Um at the time he thought I was in Cape Town. There's another Investec branch in Cape Town and I told him that I was in Joburg. At the time it was that season ya uine and so I was depressed. I was in the mood for interviews i wasn't in the mood for anything related to education but the person was like no we also have another branch to be honest i didn't know what what investec was so for me it was the like, ghetto and the person was like no we also have another 
um, branch in I'm saying branch I don't know the who branch in Santon so he can go to Santon I was like okay fine then he sent me the details and then I went for my first round of interview I went there I was like yo yo there's no way I'm gonna get this sham look at her as girl there's no way because it was in Santon the building was very nice they offer you coffee that zebra vibes yo it was it was beautiful i'm not even lying to you my second round of interview let me hurry my second round of interview i was late name yeah? i was late i didn't know the traffic was that bad in the morning so i had a morning interview the first one was very late i, I think couple my two so it was fine um the second one was very early so i got there yeah no shame it wasn't it wasn't going well for me and they were very nice the person who was calling me that guy yo i love that guy he's he was very supportive he's like no it's fine should we move it i'm like i'm already on my way can we move it to another time and it's like no it's fine when i got there the panel was just sitting there they were like hi it's like hi i'm late i'm so sorry i'm late they're like no it's fine things happen we know about the traffic but i'm like oh oh and they kid but after i left i knew her in action they were like i to me Mule, there's no way you can get it and then they call me they're like yes wara wara find him now we go to third year third year i had three bazaaris to me i had innocence i had a guru lane I also had invest tech. I so invest tech paid. A grueling paid. And as far as paid. Also, at the time, I'm getting and as far as gave me 5,000, 2,000 month. What, what, what? Invest tech is giving me my corn. J. I was that girl. You kiss a woolwet to me. Avocado, yeah, ah, may they and as far as so that this girl because it was a negative balance when it's negative and it's more than 100,000, 100, it's a red flag, so it has flagged to them and then as far as took their money back. But at least invest in Google and had paid for my fees, so I didn't know anyone anything. So the other thing about investing after they pay for your for your for your fees you're obligated to work for them so that's how i ended up working for them but i left okay another question okay the other thing where did you find the prices for the rooms i mentioned the prices yeah very expensive which degree are you doing um i mentioned it is it for students or to make sure students so that um residence by the video it's actually a mixture first year student can stay there friends can stay there and even singles can stay there what i mean by friends is that there are rooms where you share kitchen and the dining room and then there's like three bedroom type of vibes and yeah it's quite nice and first year well, they have to share. So the sharing also in that residence. So signing up, guys. Signing up. Once they gave you the re the, the res and they're like, this residence is yours. And made you get off your flight or whatever mode of transport you're using. So first day of, of, of orientation, which is people signing into res, it's a vibe chum it's a vibe so if maybe you're assigned to grasha michelle people will be waiting outside for you and then you just have to walk in depending on the requirements if maybe they want two id photos you give it to them and then they handle the whole process of assigning a room for you stuff like this so it's chill people will help you don't worry unless if you come late and then i don't know what happens does everyone get a free laptop? Oh no. I 
after COVID, things have changed, guys. Now they gave me the laptop free mahala. Free mahala. So after COVID, they make other people pay for the laptop. So I don't know how the process is now. Where is the fridge? Do you share? The fridge, guys, in that video on Tontone, it's a bar fridge. So even if I wanted to show it, there was no way I can show it because of it's that small. So the only disadvantage about that room is the fridge and stuff like that. Yeah, it's only the fridge. Otherwise, everything else you can manage. It's a bar fridge with this size of a freezer. So uh, you only have to buy one meat and go to the mall. A good thing is that you stay right next to a mall. Strata, they call, I, I raise this, this side. Right here, it's Cavendish Square. Cavendish Square. So, Nishé, you are very close to the mall. I used to go to the mall even when I'm depressed, just to see the mall. So, is the Wi-Fi. Yo, story is a Wi-Fi true me. Stores are Wi-Fi. So, because of this one, it's not a UCT residence. You All the UCT residences use a Jerome. Unlimited, unkept type of Wi-Fi. Go in J. George. That resident has their own type of Wi-Fi. They couldn't uh, put a room for us. Now, the, 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 the Wi-Fi was unlimited, but it was kept. They monitor you. Sometimes you can't go watch Netflix. They restrict you in a way. And we had to do, do it. Bam, 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 bam. And finally, they allowed us to use the unlimited, unkept Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure about now, but at the time, it was fought and we won the fall. The, the 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 fight. Yeah, sure. Is it affordable? No, for me it wasn't affordable. The, the that resident is very expensive. Unless if depending on the type of family that you come from, if go ahead and only hundred thousand idu zehabisi doko bank, then sure thing. But tinabanya I guys know. I think Investec only paid for the residents and then the rest of the men the rest of the money which was like. I'll say close to 30,000 they gave it to me. Okay. So yeah, I think that's all of the questions that people ask. Um, yeah, I hope this is clear. But also, if you have anything you want to add that you know about your city residences, you can end, you can add down below. Oh, another thing before I leave, guys. Safety. Usually, for me, let me say for me, it was safe. I have never experienced any mug, any, any, no. But there's no border, there's no fence, there's no Great Wall of China, there's no wall, there's nothing to me. Anyone can walk in and walk out. I mean the campus. I mean UCT in general. Anyway, so it's in a suburb. So kind of safe and the other thing is it's close to your mountain so the reason why um there's no fence there's no border there's no wall there's no i don't know what they call it it's because you see it's by the mountain and the other thing i need to clarify guys that mountain that you see it's not table mountain behind uct it's devil's peak no what is it called oh yeah it is devil's peak then the lions oh lion's head so it's that it's it's devil's peak so apparently where they build the institution it's a heritage place i don't know what they mean by heritage place so that's the reason why there's no border but i've never experienced any mugs muggling at this point it's hard to breathe. I got to go home. and I used to walk to campus. Got my two o'clock, got my eleven, I got my, and there's a lot of um, campus security, so you are safe. But as we know, this is South Africa, guys. There's no way we it's safe. Even sentient, it's not safe. But yeah, that's my experience. And thank you so much for watching the video. 
I hope it helps you and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video so that a lot of people can reach it, especially those who are going to first year. And don't forget to comment additional information, subtract subtraction of information. It's much appreciated. So, bye.